Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ron coming to you from Grandpa's Toy Room with a small video today. Uh, this is my answer to Fast Jimmy 71 um, challenge for a blast from the past. Jimmy said, pick out your favorite build and dust it off and show it to us. So I had to think a long, long time before I was finally able to pick one out. Uh, I have a hundred and plus models on display that I had built and have them going clear back to the early 60s. But this car here has probably got to be one of my favorites. Um, I built this 49 Merc probably at least 20 years ago, and maybe 25. And I'm afraid the black is not giving us a real good picture, but the body in the background there is an unbuilt 49 Mercury kit. And all I wanted to do was set that up there to show you what I built this 49 from. This car was built before they ever came out with the kit with the top top and the custom work on it. So everything that you see, the chop top, the slanted D pillars, um, all of that stuff, the French headlights, all of that I did myself, rather than having a kit that was already started. Um, it's got to be one of my one of my favorite builds. Um, for one thing, just because it's a 49 Mercury, <laughs> um, I even have a good guy's sticker in the windshield, like when I was a member of the good guys many, many years ago. But uh, as, as anybody that has one of my shop cards will see, this is one of the cards that is on my, on my shop card. Um, if I can do this, yeah, I can. The trunk is hinged and opened up, although I have nothing in there. I should have, <laughs> but um, it's just built the way I would have liked to have had one um, when I was a teenager. When I was a teen, when I graduated from high school in 1958, I had a black 50 Mercury, was lowered, had the flared fender skirts on it like that, um, was nosed and decked, and that was it. That was the total of the custom work on it. So this one's kind of built the way I would have liked to have had. Um, and let's see if I can get the hood open. I don't even remember what I put in there for the motor. Gosh been a while since that's been opened. See if we can do it without tipping up the paint. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oops, that went. Okay, come on baby, open up. Or come off, either one, I don't care which. Uh, well, you can't, it's not gonna open any farther than that, I guess, but it does have the, does have the flathead in it with the, all the chrome goodies on the engine and dual carbs might be able to see that. Uh, the interior was all done with white corduroy, um, which makes it look like it's tuck and roll. And a pair of speakers in the back package shelf. Um, the normal type of stuff that I was doing many, many, many years ago. I can see a little polish on the door that needs cleaned up. Um, 
And okay, now, let me get, yeah, there we go. Um, bottom is detailed up. Look, fairly good. Um, just the black, black floor pan and stuff, and then with the chrome, chrome front end and yellow shocks, uh, red exhaust mufflers, which was normal back in the day when you put cherry bombs on them. So, I just wanted to, just wanted to show this. This is probably one of my favorite ones out of, ones out of all of them that's over there. But I am going to show you another Mercury. It's not built anywhere near as nice as that one. Yeah, looks yellow in the camera. Yeah, maybe not. It's actually white. Uh, this is a model of a 50 Mercury that I had and was driving um, back in the day. Had the car from 1985 until 1996. And in 96, I sold it to a guy so that I could start building the red 32 Roadster that's out in the garage. Um, this is what my real car looked like, uh, and that's one of the reasons that the plane job on it doesn't look too good is because I had to, when I built this car back in probably 90, maybe 91, uh, I had to hand paint the flames on it to get the flame job the same as what was on mine. So, it does have the... The pinstriping on the deck lid, which mine had. Mine also had some around the the little round dot taillights, which is the kind of taillights that I had in mine. So just just wanted to show you this one just for the fun of it. Um, bottom is not even finished out, as you can see. Uh, no exhaust, no motor. <laughs> I just built it. Strictly so I could make it look like mine. You know, it does have the, the black and white interior, which is what I had on mine, and the little dice hanging off the off the mirror. But just wanted to get this out and answer fast Jimmy's video and show off a couple of my looks. Um, I had built, sorry for the snuff. Uh, I have built probably, what have I got over there? I know I've got over a dozen of them that I have built from that old original 49 month kit. This is, this is the, I don't know if I can get that in, ah, I can't get that in there. But anyway, it's the old original 1949 AMT. And that's what all of mine, except for the very last one, was built from. So, there you go, Jimmy. Um, that Black 50 Merc, that's my, probably the favorite of all my builds. So, thank you, everybody. Um, John and Max, thank you again for kicking off that appreciation build. I know you were just going to build a car. And dedicate it to me, but boy, did it ever take off like gangbusters. So, really appreciate it, Charlie. Great to call you a good friend. Jeff, you jumped in, and everything went from there. So, I picked up a bunch of new subscribers. Can't believe what's been going on the last two weeks since we've been locked down. So, anyway, folks, I'm rambling now, so I hope everybody has a good rest 